Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Drag Special Tool in Abyss Paint X. The Drag Tool can be found in a special section and essentially it is a new tool that has been added recently and I'm going to show you how to use it. If you're familiar with the tool Smudge, then this will be pretty easy because it is essentially like the Smudge Tool. I'm going to do some little scribbles here and then we shall try it out. So go right here to the special section, click on that and you will see down here a menu will pop up and there'll be a good few types. There's drag, shrink, expand, smoothen and revert. Of course we're going to want to be using the drag. You can change the pen if you want but liquify pen is the automatic one here and it's the best one for using in my opinion. You can change the thickness of it right here too. Now let's try it out. As you can see, it is essentially like the smudge tool. You can even manipulate things by going from certain angles, like this one part that has just gotten really, really long. Unlike the smudge tool though, you can't really get rid of things like this, and it takes a lot more effort to try and remove anything at all. When you compare it with the smudge, you will see that the smudge here tends to get rid of things, and as with the new update, it is not quite as draggy as it used to be, which I think is part of the reason why they added the drag tool, so that the smudge can be more concentrated on blending now. So if you're struggling with the smudge tool, then please just use the drag tool instead, because since the update, it's definitely a lot easier to use. Then when you are done, you can just leave it and go into a different layer or something. But if you would like to revert while you're done because you're not quite happy with it, then just click on the revert eraser right here. And just go over the parts that you want to remove the drag effect from. And you will see eventually they will return back to how they were originally. Although because we went out of this menu we can't revert past what we did at that point, so this bit will stay like that because we went out of the menu temporarily. If you go out of the menu then that part will be able to be reverted, so please keep that in mind. Overall, it is a really nice tool and I think is very, very funky. You can use it to make a lot of funky swirls and effects and cool backgrounds too. That was how to use the drag tool. I hope that you enjoyed and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Thanks for watching. Bye!